Alright, well I want to do another unboxing uh, video. Uh, this is uh, an order I got in the mail actually yesterday and I'm just now getting ready to uh, getting ready to open it and thought I would share it with uh, with those who stack and then post their videos, do unboxing videos on the web. Um, uh, this one, I'll show you, this, this uh, came from this JMRC Inc. Uh, this is the first time I've ordered from Modern Coin Mart. I've heard people talk about it and seen uh, talk about the company and and uh, they happened to be the one that had what I was looking for at the price I was looking to get them and uh, so I went I went with them it was it was a little bit of a pain um, I chose to pay with credit card the first time working with them or buying from them because I wanted the I wanted to be able to have uh, the credit card company in between me and them and, and if they didn't if they didn't deliver uh, I wanted to be able to uh, you know go to the credit card company and get my money back so uh, next time I go through them I definitely will not use I'll go I'll pay check uh, and save the, the 50 60 bucks that uh, that that would have saved me but uh, one odd thing about the Modern Coin Mart is that they called me. It, it took them about four days to ship this out, even paying with credit card, which was a little aggravating. They ended up uh, contacting me on the third day, wanted to talk to me on the phone just to validate where this was going, that I was actually a person, and and um, and, uh, and just validate the address. And then they also sent it uh, registered restricted delivery so that meant I actually had to pull out my ID uh, when the when the post uh, postman came and uh, validate that I was who this package was supposed to go to that's just fine um, I don't have never dealt with that with any of the other stores that I've that I've gone through uh, I guess you know it's a little bit of a, a safety thing and some people might like that um, it, was, uh, it annoyed me a little bit, but hey, I got the package in and it got in safe. So let's see what let's see what I got here. They did a pretty good job taping this up. Um, I w this video, we might spend a few minutes trying to hack into this, but let me see what happens here. Let me see if that'll that'll get me in or not. Yeah, that gets me in. Well, that's packaged pretty pretty well. They've got the the foam. Well, let me go ahead and cut. Um, and I know what's in here, so I know I, I'm I'm feeling fine cutting into it the way that I am. But. They've got, um, oh, actually I did not expect it to come like that as a packing slip. Um, I expected that this would come in tubes, is what I was thinking that this would, this would be. So let me, uh, I'm surprised, I actually, the, the quantity I ordered was so that I would get, get the tubes and not get, I'm not sure how they put them in here, let me see. Okay, all right, they're in little Ziploc, Ziploc bags. So let me show you what I got here. They come, they came in the, the flips, and this is the 2016 uh, maple leaf with the, let's see if we can get a good zoomed in there, with the Bigfoot located right down here walking across the bottom of the, the bottom of the coin um, I'm gonna do a video on why I chose these coins um, when they first came out uh, there was a lot of a lot of remarks about oh man these people have they're just making an embarrassment of the maple leaf and and uh, and you know they they just really didn't like it after what they did the Titanic and then they had the of course the lunar coins and and then they did the tank and the wolf and the bear and the 
and the clover and, and, and did a lot of a lot of crazy um, uh, crazy uh, coins on these or, or animals or characters on these that some people thought that, that it was um, you know kind of a disgrace but uh, but I actually think that this coin is going to be the coin to have from this series I think that this is the one that um, that in another two years from now uh, I can't think of any other coin with a Sasquatch on it you know with a Bigfoot and I think this is going to be the coin that people are going to want it's a, it's a very pretty coin I mean that's a uh, that is a really a really nice coin um, on the edges it looks a little bit roughed up on this one um, but I'm sure that's just the minting process um, I expect you know I'm gonna hold a few of these the other ones I'll, I'll put in air tights or just keep them tucked away um, tucked away real nice so what I ended up getting here was um, uh, from modern coin mark you see they have the their little own own bags I really thought I was getting mint tubes here uh, that is a little bit of a disappointment I, I expected the tubes I guess this will make it nice for resale because that's it that is my uh, my goal with these coins. So I ended up getting 75. Um, there's so there's 10 in each bag. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. And we've got this bag as well. And so 50, 60, 70, and I can tell this one is a lighter, is lighter and has fewer coins in there. Yep, it's just got the five, so I got all 75. Really are pretty coins. Um, versus the original Maple Leaf, this is the, here, I think I've got one of these, a, a, a Maple Leaf I can pull out here. This is the, um, yeah, this is another, uh, what year is this? Uh, this is a 2015 um, uh, maple leaf. You know, with the little the little maple leaf they did down in in this corner uh, of the coin. Uh, that's a pretty coin. Uh, this this one uh, is is different because it's not you know that proof. Uh, that double proof or, or whatever they call it where it has that uh, that shiny or, or the dull matte finish behind the the maple leaf on this one so this is the original maple leaf on the bottom and then this is the Bigfoot maple leaf on the top you know they look the same on the back they've all got the they've all got the queen um, I've got the queen on both of those. So uh, nice coins, um, nice clink to them. Gotta like that. Um, I always like to have a have one of these that I just you know handle and and and, and don't mind getting the the oils and whatnot on, and I'll keep the other ones for for resale. Well, I hope you like this. I'll, I'll do a follow-up video of this explaining why I chose this coin and the, uh, the reasoning that went into me picking this one versus picking, uh, oh gosh, you know, I mean, I could have gone with more American Silver Eagles. I could have gone with some Britannias. I could have gone with uh, the Libertads, thought about going, going with the Libertads. But, you know, this year, I think, with the anniversary, you're going to be looking at a super high mintage on on the Libertads this year, and um, you know could have gone with Philharmonics. Personally, I don't like the Philharmonics. I buy them, but um, it's not a terribly exciting looking coin. Um, it doesn't have too much interesting going for it. Of course, like the Kooks and the Pandas, but I wanted to go for something different with a low mintage that, in a few years' time, in two years' time, I could maybe turn around and and uh, sell these coins for for a premium. Um, stay tuned for the next video and that'll kind of explain uh, what I was thinking and why I went with this coin versus versus any other. Alright everybody keep stacking. Talk to you later. Next video.